Yo, Dan Larson here. Welcome to Synthesize Sunday 27. And in my, one of my previous tutorials where I showed a drum and bass neuroish kind of stuff, you guys are very interested to make a tutorial about the main bass. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made the bass sound of this loop. <laughs> So I'm talking about this bass. This is a serum bass. And uh, <clears throat> of course, like always, effects, makes very fr effects make a very huge difference to the sound. This is the original unedited, unaffected bass sound from serum. And this is the affected version. Some nice little crunch to it. So let me show you how I made a preset. Okay, first of all, I have two layers. One of the layer is this Monster Five wave table from the factory bank, which if we if we call if we can call this, um, you know, spectral maps. You know the the wave tables which come. Uh, wave tables which come with Serum when you purchase it. Anyway, so uh, this is Monster 5. Uh, I use a remap here, remap warp, with this shape. I, it was just, you know, random. I try to find the best sounding stuff here and I just draw in some waves, uh, some shapes which I would find sound really well. <laughs> So this is the first layer, and the second layer was, I believe, a percussion sound, which I, which I used a band plus on it. Um, <clears throat> well, let me show you how I made this, because this is an exciting stuff here. Let me, show, let me find, um, I don't know, um, where are these foley's, okay. Let me find a Foley sound, percussion kind of Foley sound, you know, which has lots of low end. Uh, of course I can't find any. Okay, let's use this one. But first, I want to open a new serum because I don't want to mess this up, this uh, this patch up. So let's go back to all these and drop this in. So as you can see, we have several wear cycles, <clears throat> these little boxes. But when we try to morph them. And this is what I always do, uh, X fade them on the based on the grid side. As you can hear, it never turns out well. So I think, for example, we don't need. So uh, the first, the the main idea behind making this loop or this sound work and start to experiment with this is to leave, for example, only five or, or four little boxes, four little cycles, and the rest of them should be deleted. I think <clears throat> from this point, there are no usable cycles here, so let's remove them from the selected to the end. So we can remove the morph tables as well, because we need only four. So let's pick the, the, you know, the best ones. This must definitely stay. Okay, okay, I don't like this very much, so let me just delete it. And this one here, the fourth, okay. So we have these four cycles and now we can morph them and x-fade them 
So this way. The transition is a lot smoother. Because most of the sounds here are coming from the morph tables, which are always smooth. So this is what I did here in the main bass, but I used only yes, four table uh, four cycles too. And uh, And I used LFO2 to move the wavetable position, this slight movement. And I used the same LFO movement to the to the filter, which is just a simple low pace filter, but I didn't use 100 person uh, mix. Because I wanted to have some more high end, I didn't want to filter out all the highs. I want some to get through. So this is the whole movement for LFO1 and the filter. No, not LFO, sorry, the oscillator A and the filter. But let's uh, enable oscillator B too. <coughs> it gives some more high end. So let's see the effects. Hyper is a very, very essential uh, you know, effect if you want to make cool neural bases. Because it's basically a unison. And for every Neuro bass sound, you will need an, uh, a cool uh, unison. Okay, and sound distortion, like always. A notch filter, movement, uh, based on LFO2. Because if you want to make cool Neuro basses, you always need to use lots of filtering, lots of distortion, lots of compression. Uh, basically, this is the key for making cool neuro bases. And here comes the compression part. Some reverb, but I don't know why I added that. We don't really need that. And some EQ to so cut out the very high, annoying, ear bleeding highs. Okay, so basically, this is the sound we just made using Monster 5 and that, well, I believe percussion kind of sound. But what I did here in the effects part, I want to add some more crunch using the erosion and some saturator, of course. Let me de-click the rest of the effects because it is really based around the erosion and some flanger and phaser. So, This is this sound is cool, but it's too clean. You know, I wanted it to make it more dirty. So this is why I added some noise, some wide noise here using the erosion plugin. But now it turned out too noisy, <laughs> which I didn't really like. So after adding a saturator, I tried to cut out all those frequencies I didn't like using an EQ8 and another EQ to cut out more the highs and well on the middle highs more like and some limiter to avoid clipping and some more flanger to make more movement to the sound and a phaser like always to make it deeper and deeper work. and some more distortion saturation on the end and this is all the map, uh, the, the LFO really doesn't do anything here. I believe I try to modulate. I don't know which which parameter. Maybe maybe the erosion, but I don't I, I don't really remember. We don't need this. It does the job on its own. So the FX purpose is really based around the erosion to make the sound more more nasty, more dirty, less clean, and you know just clean up the noisiness. Make it less noisy. <laughs> Sounds funny, but this is how it works. So this is the bass sound, and in context, I think it really works. So this was today's tutorial, and if you want to download the preset for this bass stuff here, just go down to, to the description, the video descriptions, and see you next week, guys. Bye bye.